hey everyone welcome back so in the last video we have seen we have created some visual studio code settings to get intellisense in the feature file where if you hover your mouse and press control in your keyboard you'll be able to see the related step definition for that right that was intellisense added here in and you will be able to nav navigate directly from here to your feature steps right Suppose I want to navigate from here to my step definition. I'll just click here and I'll be able to navigate. And before that, we have seen how to handle different type of weight. And in that code, if you remember, I wrote all the locators in the test step definition itself. Usually before these codes, uh, you know, earlier in the previous videos, whenever I was writing step definitions, we moved all our locators from a step definition to page classes that is in our previous video so we have created a page class where we move our locators create a public function and call wherever in your step definition is required but for this weight examples video which i have created i wrote all this in that step definition and the reason was because i wanted to show you some change that happened recently uh, we are using currently so if we go to package.json and if you want to see any version which version you are using which dependencies you can come to package.json and see the dependency and the version here. So we will be using 7.611 of CLI version and any 7th version of any Cucumber Elite or WebDriver 7.611 we were using. Right? And in 7.6.1 if you want to write a code and if you want to chain methods like if you want to write locator if you want to use any other WebDriver or your related commands you need to chain your multiple await so for each web driver io related this step you need to write uh, await for that for example i had this loading icon locator here for that i need to write one await and then wait for display is another web driver io command for which i have to write another await and similarly if you see here for this start button locator one await and then for this click one more await so this is how it was in 7.6.1 version and to you know overcome or to clean this code we have seen in the previous videos we have created one utility which you know handles all these multiple awaits and when you call you just need to pass only one await which was there in our page class right so we have created in a way that you just need to pass only one but that was a workaround that is still a workaround a reason of because we had to write multiple awaits in our step and now recently there is an announcement that webdriver io is officially now upgraded to 7.9.1 and you can check that in the webdriver io official website where if you come to home page in the blog section you will have recent post sync api deprecation and it says that we are going to you know this api sync support will be officially deprecate will be deprecating from node version 16 you can read through these details i'll leave this link in the description of the video you can read through so basically it says that it why it is deprecating that details are there and what changes is coming in the 7.9 so what it says here before 7.9 our code will look something like this when you chain multiple and that is what we have been doing here right so we have multiple commands you need to write that many awaits but with newer upgrade with one await you can chain multiple commands so now we don't have to write like this in 7.9 so let's check that in this video for that first we need to upgrade our project to 7 point from 7.6 to 7.9 and our dependencies are in package.json right these versions we have to upgrade now one way to do is that First, you need to know what is the latest version and if you want to check version of any dependencies so currently we are using 7.6.1 here for webdriver also 7.61 and for so other other dependencies we have these versions if you want to check what is the current or latest version for this you can go to npm website and in this website there is a search bar here this is where you can find all the npm related uh, packages uh, in this search bar so for now we want to know what is the latest version for this WDIO CLI and any all others. So what you can do, just type here in this search bar, select this one first suggestion or whichever is matching and then click on search. 
right and you will get this search exact match is this one just open this now if you scroll a bit here it will show you the current version and the current version is 7.9 and the same way you have to find all others and you need to update here that version all other version name here manually for all of this that is one way to do it which doesn't seems or doesn't sounds like very efficient way so what we can do we have another npm library itself available and that is npm yeah this is the library name npm check update this library or pack npm model will help you to check what is your current version of library you are using and what is the latest available and based on that you can update your package.json dependency rather than doing it manually so let's see how we can use it first you need to install this dependency and how you can do it you can do it by using this command so let's just come here in the documentation it says you need to install this with this command normally what we used to install npm install and the package name in node models if you want to install but here it say hyphen g this is nothing hyphen g means global download that means it will not be only specific to this project it will be a specific it will be uh, globally uh, you know applicable for all your for your system itself right so once normal what happens when you run in, in do any installation in this project folder you used to see a one entry created here but once you do global installation with this command with this command you will not see any entry created here because that entry will be created in your system level not here so let's first install this npm check updates globally okay the installation is done and if we see updated to packages and now if you see it will not update in this path it will update in some other path where the global update is there in this folder right so that in, uh, we have update installed the npm check update dependency now you you see here how to use it in the documentation itself says that first run ncu it will check your package.json so let's run this command i'll just type let me clear this first and type ncu ncu is the command to check the dependencies just type and hit enter so yeah it completed and if you see here it gives some uh, some result so if i scroll here properly all 12 of 12 packages done checking done and you see here it says 7.73 allure reporter now it is 7.9 cucumber framework also had local reporter chrome driver was 91 it is 92 okay and then web driver i was 7.61 current available is 7.9 7.6 cli 7.9 whenever you see red that is a major upgrade whenever you see blue or green it's, it's a minor upgrade okay so it is saying that this is your current version these are your current in your package JSON, and these are the latest available in the market now you you don't want to update this all manually what you can do just follow this command here and it says that run this command to update package.json so now what i'll do i'll copy this and i'll run this command now just make sure webdriver io cla is 6.1 webdriver io is also 6.1 and so other related sub 7.7.3 now let's run this command ncu space hyphen u enter it will update all these dependency versions in package.json only so now if you see it updated here right as soon as we ran this command wdio cli 7.9.1 and all other right 7.9.1 7.91.1 so whatever we had the latest dependencies it updated here chrome driver is 92 92 now it was 91 so it with this simple step of command we are able to now as of now we have very you know less but in your real time project you will have so many dependencies doing it manually one by one is a really tiring so use this npm ncu command npm check update library which will um, you know do the job for you faster and you don't have to check one by one all the dependencies so we have updated this package.json but our actual this is just a record in package.json actual dependencies resides in this node underscore model folder which is still with older version only now to update the node module folder based on this you need to say npm install okay when you say npm install what it does 
it goes and looks in the package.json and see what are the dependencies and their versions are defined. Based on that, it will replace in node models the latest one. It will remove the old one and it will add the new one. So let's say npm install. And it is showing command also here, right? In, run npm install to install new versions. So that is what it is suggesting and that's what we did. Run npm install. Yeah, so looks like the installation is completed. And if you see here, there is update. Added 20 packages, 63 contributed, removed 16 packages, and updated 125 packages. So there were some packages was added, which was few was removed, and few was most of them were updated. Right? So now we have moved from 7.6 to 7.9 version where we have few changes. We have discussed that. Yeah, so we can write now our code like this and whatever we were writing until now will change right so this is what details is already given in the documentation so just for an example if i'll open my wait access steps which we have seen in the last video before 7.9 our code was like this now after upgrade your code will look like something this and it will still work perfectly fine. So you don't have to write now multiple await and still this will be able to work perfectly fine. And similarly, all other this code. So yeah, so that's it for this video. In next video, we will see how we can update all our ex this page or uh, these steps and all our existing um, functions that we have written. And then we will proceed from the next video with 7.9 accordingly itself. Thank you so much.